call a snap-in style seal here. Um, this one happens to be a G5. It's molded in a circle. Um, we have a retainer here that has sharper radiuses than what's in the molded into the seal, and we're going to install these two together. Um, you start by finding the inflation stem here and the hole that you're going to put it through in the retainer and line those two up um, and get that installed. Now, a uh, popsicle stick is a great aid in, in tucking the seal under into the snapping part of the retainer. And you work that around. Once you get the uh, radius here installed, then you go to the opposite corner and you install that. Again, using the popsicle stick as a an aid to tuck it in there. Uh, you want to avoid using screwdrivers and anything sharp. And then once those two are done, then you do the other corner. And the more of the seal you get in, the easier it gets. And you can see the seal fits a little snug. Uh, that's fine. It's rubber, it stretches. goes in just like that. And then when it's time to replace the seal, you just roll up an edge and you can pull it right out. Now before I pull it all the way out, I'm going to show you how some people install these things and they run into a problem. If you start at the end and you just kind of give it a little tug and it snaps right in real nice and pretty. By stretching the seal a little bit, it gets narrow and pops into the, the groove. And uh, you see here, I got a lot of extra seal left. And the last way I did it, it looked short. Um, and if this was a really long seal, you would have a lot here. And then you're going to wonder what to do with it. Um, and you could tuck it back in and make it work out, but you'll have a a stress area here or somewhere else because of that. So you want to load one area, go 180 degrees from that, load the other area and just keep dividing the seal up so it gets loaded evenly and it'll last the maximum length of time.